Hey, Theater Inspires. Welcome to Make It Sparkle, a series to get ideas and inspiration for your theater and dance shows. This video is about directing and performing in theater, and it features Sandra Joseph. Sandra is a history-making Broadway star, the longest-running leading lady in the longest-running Broadway show of all time, Phantom of the Opera. Sandra is a gifted storyteller, a keynote speaker and performer, and a New York Times best-selling author. Above all, she's kind, generous, and passionate about helping people unmask what matters most in their lives. Hope you enjoy this and get some fresh ideas. You know, bef years before being a part of Phantom was even a glint in my eye of a possibility um i got a little mini version of that music box that little monkey for christmas and it you would wind it up and it would play the melody and it it's such a, a beautiful simple melody and yet that 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 little music box still means so much to me because yes think about think about the message of that masquerade and i do think people get this on even if it's not a conscious level from seeing that story and i think it's one of the reasons that phantom has become such a global cultural phenomenon it's been running more than 30 years on Broadway. It is the most lucrative entertainment enterprise of all time. And I do think part of it is it touches this universal pain point that it's such a, a, a powerful metaphor. Masquerade, paper faces on parade, <laughs> masquerade. <laughs> Hide your face so the world will never find you. And when you think about the Phantom's journey and Christine's journey and the, the message of that show, in that moment when she kisses him and she holds him, I used to imagine all of the love that's ever existed pouring through my eyes and into his when I would hold his face and look into his eyes at that moment. And some people actually wrote me letters talking about that, that very moment. And the symbol that Christine is, it, of the unconditional love and acceptance that we all need in order to heal. And what happens in that moment? Something transforms in him and he sets her free. And when we give ourselves that kind of unconditional acceptance and love something is transformed in us and we are set free there is something profoundly freeing in recognizing that who we are behind the mask is profoundly enough always has been enough never needed to prove its right to exist that our worth is not out there in the doing but we are inherently worthy because we are here, because we were born. We don't have to prove to the world that we have the right to take up space. And so many of us run endlessly on the treadmill of doing and achieving and accomplishing in order to prove something. And we get to the top of that ladder if we're lucky, only to realize Wherever you go, there you are. And who I really am has nothing to do with the masquerade of the roles I'm playing. Who I really am is inside of all of that. So we don't have to hide our faces so the world will never find us. That sense of shame that so many of us develop in our childhood, it's, it's a natural part of the human condition and phantom so beautifully shows this message this medicine that 
We don't have to put on any kind of covering. We don't have to hide who we are in order to to find ourselves safe and loved and worthy. Um, so still when I hear or see that little music box, I still have it, you know, when I hear that little melody, I just feel so incredibly grateful that I got to get that message up close and personal every single night, you know, and it took me 10 years in a show about a man who wears a mask for me to start really taking a hard and honest look at the masks that I was wearing and to recognize that for all of us, we can only really give our, our most valuable gifts to the world when we recognize that we can have the courage to drop the mask and be truthful and authentic and show up in all of our flaws and vulnerability and our messy lives and our messy humanity. And that's when we really connect with other people. When we show that truthful, raw, vulnerable essence of who we are, that invites connection. When there's a mask in the way, nothing can really get in. And there's a block to real, meaningful connection, which is really what makes life worth living. Those meaningful connections. And the end, of, all we really have is one another. And if there's a mask in the way, then we keep others out. So thank you for asking that question. I think the, the best for all of us is yet to come when we trust that it's safe to come out of hiding and share all of, of who we are. It, it was really scary for me in the beginning to use my voice as Sandra, not as a character, not as Christine, to leave the comfortable space of speaking someone else's words and begin to speak my own words in the world. Really vulnerable and scary. And it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done.